Washington and London may give secret permission for Ukraine to fire Western long-range missiles at targets in Russia. This is reported in The Times. According to the publication, it is possible that the American and British sides will officially announce the permission granted to Kiev after the first missiles hit targets on Russian territory. It is noted that the US first wants to see Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky's plan for how the use of long-range weapons will help Ukraine survive the war in the winter. The article says that a final decision could be made at the UN General Assembly next week while there is nervousness in the team of current White House occupant Joe Biden that such a move could harm the election campaign of Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris. According to journalists, the head of the British Foreign Office, David Lamy, met this week with US Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as well as colleagues from France, Germany and Italy, to prepare a decision on missiles before the upcoming session of the General Assembly. The publication's sources clarified that the meeting was intended to demonstrate that NATO allies were acting as a single entity and to refute assumptions that Washington and London were playing a dominant role in decision-making. Earlier, Dialogue.ua reported that the White House confirmed the planned meeting between Biden and Zelensky in the American capital. It will still take place on September the 26th. In addition, the Ukrainian leader will meet with Harris. Zelensky, in turn, announced the complete readiness of the plan for Ukraine's victory, which he will present at the upcoming meeting with his American counterpart. The head of state specified that this plan provides for a number of decisions from the Allies in the period from October to December. Kiev has long been calling on its partners to give the green light to strikes with Western long-range missiles against Russia. The media wrote that the Ukrainian side intends to attack enemy command centers, ammunition and fuel depots, and concentrations of Russian troops with such weapons. Heavy rain pounded Japan's north-central region of Noto on Saturday, triggering flash flooding and landslides. The downpour engulfed homes and stranded some residents in the area still recovering from the January 1st deadly earthquake. One person was missing. The Ishikawa prefecture said one person went missing in the worst-hit Wajima city, one of several towns in the prefecture, where the Japan Meteorological Agency issued the highest level of heavy rain warning. The Land and Infrastructure Ministry said at least 12 rivers in the prefecture had breached their banks as of late Saturday morning, urging residents in areas to use maximum caution against possible mudslides and building damage. Many homes were flooded and some residents in two districts in Wajima have been stranded following a landslide, according to the prefecture. So far, there have been no reports of injuries or major damage. The magnitude 7.6 quake that struck the region on New Year's Day has killed more than 370 people. Flood waters in Hungary continued to rise Friday as authorities closed roads and rail stations, and ferry services along the Danube River halted. In the capital, Budapest, water spilled over the city's lower keys and threatened to reach tram and metro lines. Some transport services were suspended. Further upriver, in a region known as the Danube Bend, homes and restaurants near the riverbanks were inundated. Nearly 6,000 professionals, including members of Hungary's water authority and military, were mobilized, and prison inmates were involved in filling sandbags, Prime Minister Viktor Orban said at a news conference Thursday. 
The Danube stood at over 771 centimeters, approaching the 891 centimeter record set during major flooding in 2013.